Hello, welcome to Repurposing Junk with Mrs. Munson, and this is Lily, and today we're talking about decoupage. I'm not going to show you how to decoupage, but if you're interested in learning the art of decoupage, we've already done that, and you'll find lessons on that on decoupaging suitcases, and here's one of the things we did. And we did that um, on decoupaging suitcases, and you'll find that on Mrs. Munson's uh, channel on YouTube. So if you're watching this, you can sure find that. I'm going to let Lily down because um, I'm going to need two hands for this. So she'll see you later. This video is going to talk uh, more about just some items that would be good to decoupage with. When you're out junking, you might find some cool things, but you're going to have a compromised finish. So your options are to paint it or decoupage it. And I do enjoy decoupaging stuff. It gives a lot of character. So you might choose to use mats. Um, if you can find an old atlas, get it. I've been using this one for a long time. Just pull the pages out and it makes good surface. Uh, maps and suitcases go together beautifully. Um, wrapping paper works really well. You can use different wrapping paper for seasonal things. Um, I found at junk shows this year that if I use uh, Christmas wrapping paper on big suitcases, that's a winner because then you can um, make a decorative suitcase and then people can store their Christmas decorations in the suitcase. It was a huge winner. I went through lots of them and people were real happy about it. So um, wrapping paper makes a really good decoupage treatment. Um, I like to use music. And you can use the pages of music, like I did in this case. Let's see which way? Yeah, that was right. Um, this is the Jumbo Book of Songs. I've used this in some other pieces. If you watch the ukulele lamp, you will find um, that we decoupage the ukulele with this. Um, Casablanca was a cover sheet, and I have this cover sheet I'm waiting to find just the right piece for because who wouldn't want a David Cassidy um, lamp or some commemorative piece? I think he's fabulous. And probably my favorite thing to do um, pieces with are uh, dictionaries and the paper is nice and thin so you can get a real good finish with that and um, there's something about the words you can just get crazy with words and um, I like to finish the piece just with um, you know the overall pattern of words and then I like to add some specific words here and there just as my little um, my little trick. So if you look at the snout of the pig lamp, I put a little remembrance in there and I like to just tuck little words here and there um, just for fun. So uh, I always uh, revert back to dictionaries and it doesn't take many dictionaries to get all the words you need. So for this video, I'm going to just show uh, pictures of some decoupage that I've done in the past and um, hopefully it will inspire you to cover some of your great junk finds in decoupage. Thank you.
If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you'd like to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.